So it's only been about a week since the last video and back then there was hundreds of maybe thousands of green fly on the tomato plant and I sowed with some very small tiny hoverfly larva. Well now there is almost absolutely no green fly anywhere, just the dead dry skins from when they mulch. So it's almost complete success. And we've got lots of big um, big hoverfly larva. We have this one here. They're, at the moment they're pretty lethargic, I think it's night time. But they were roaming around earlier. On the prowl, looking for more food. This big guy's on the move here. There he is. Got another guy over here. Not sure how many there are in total. Probably about 10, I think. But they've done a great job eating loads of, of green fly, fattened up, so I'm guessing they'll probably be pupating soon and flying. Um, yeah, becoming um, hoverflies. But yeah, so that was a great success. As I said in the other video, I put this outside for a few months. Um, hoverflies laid their eggs on it. Uh, took took quite a while for the hoverfly larva to be noticeable, but once they got going, I mean, they just kept eating and eating, and now there's no no green fly almost, just a couple left, and loads of big hoverfly larvae. So I think in the next two or three days, these big larvae will finish off the. Um, the remaining green fly. They seem pretty good at hunting out every last little spot. Um, first of all, they ate them from underneath the leaves, and the trickier areas like the flowers here, all those hairs, it was a bit tricky for them to get onto, aren't they? They've all gone now. That was just yesterday. This was covered in green fly, and now there's not a single green fly on that. Just, just their dead skins from when they pupated. So yeah, that's a great success there with the hoverfly larvae. And so I think I'll leave it out for one more week just to make sure that there's these are all eaten. And then I'll I'll um I'll take it inside where it's a bit warmer. That one's really on the move. Obviously a hungry one there. That's what they were like earlier on in the day. Just hunting out and eating loads and loads of green fly. They'll be probably be more active now because um now they're running out of green fly, they're going to be on the move more often to try and find more. So I might transfer them to, if there's any other of my plants get um, green fly, I'll just transfer them onto that. But at the moment I don't think any of my plants do have green fly. But um, yeah, there you have it, hoverfly larva. That's you taking care of your green fly, and these hoverfly larva have done a really good job. I mean they're just so thorough, you know, they just, there's another one there, they just go all over the place. So they search out every nook and cranny and they'll find out, even, they're just, you know, they're just so thorough with their, their searching that they, they'll find any green fly and they'll, they'll hunt them down. So, I might do an update on this when I take it back inside and it starts to recover from its damage, but there we are. That's a very successful treatment of green fly with my, just naturally flying around hoverfly larvae.